It's incredibly difficult for a sports team to remain consistent for so many years. Why don't the Baltimore Ravens or Pittsburgh Steelers have dynasties? Because the AFC North is among football's toughest divisions. The Pacific Division in the NHL has prevented the three California teams from being dynasties too. But some teams always win because they have it easy. I'm Justin Fraction, and today we take a look at 10 sports teams that always win because of a weak division. And a big shout out to Poke Sport XYZ for suggesting this video. We do hope you enjoy it, and if you do, feel free to click subscribe down below for more cool videos every single day. Number 10 New England Patriots Playing the AFC East has a lot of benefits. For one, the Buffalo Bills haven't made the playoffs in 19 seasons. The Miami Dolphins haven't won a playoff game since 2000. The New York Jets haven't made a Super Bowl since winning it back in 1969. Since Tom Brady became the starter in 2001, the Patriots' AFC East opponents have combined for eight playoff appearances. Uh, imagine playing with the Ravens or Steelers, two AFC powerhouses over the years, or having Peyton Manning in your division. But Mark Sanchez, Ryan Fitzpatrick, and Chad Henney were sure scary all those years, right? Number 9. Tampa Bay Lightning The Lightning have made the playoffs in the last three seasons, but with the Boston Bruins regressing, only the Montreal Canadiens can be considered an elite team in their division. Luckily for Tampa, they reached the Eastern Conference Final in 2016 because the Habs lost Carey Price and went in free-falling mode. The Toronto Maple Leafs are the NHL's laughingstock. The Buffalo Sabres are gonna be the Buffalo Sabres. And the Detroit Red Wings ain't the powerhouse they once were. Put Tampa in the Metro Division, that would suck for them. Number 8. Green Bay Packers So maybe the Packers would be an elite team if they had more competition in their division. But come on, the Detroit Lions sucked before they finally reached the playoffs in 2011. The Minnesota Vikings are only good every few years, and the Chicago Bears are among the league's worst teams every year. Imagine if Green Bay was in the NFC East. That wouldn't be fun. Number 7. Texas Rangers Let's go Power Rangers! The Rangers have made the playoffs in five of the last seven MLB seasons, which includes four AL West titles. Thing is, the Houston Astros have been rebuilding for over a decade. The Oakland Athletics are generally awful. The LA Angels are all hype but not much action. The Seattle Mariners haven't made the playoffs since 2001. If Texas was in the American League Central, where they should be, then they would not be so dominant each year. Number 6. Montreal Canadiens The Canadiens are almost a one-man team with the world's best goalie in Carey Price, as evidenced by their 2015-16 season. Their first place finish in the Atlantic during 2014-15 was easy, thanks to Tampa Bay being the only other elite team in their division. And like we said, with Tampa, the Leafs and Sabres make for a weak division. And the Florida Panthers and Boston Bruins aren't that dangerous either. There's no way the Habs would last in a division with Pittsburgh, Washington, and the New York Rangers. Number 5. Washington Nationals The Nationals won the NL East title in 2012, 14, and 16. Besides the New York Mets teams that reached the playoffs in 2015 and 16, the Nationals have had super easy opponents in their division to beat up on. The Atlanta Braves have won 79, 67, and 68 games over their last three seasons. The Miami Marlins haven't had a winning season since 2009. The Philadelphia Phillies have four straight losing seasons and were a 500 team in 2012. And even the Mets had a losing season every year from 2009 to 14. Always easy in the nation's capital. Number 4. Seattle Seahawks The Seahawks began rising with the emergence of the Legion of Boom and Russell Wilson in 2012. It just seems like the competition is decreasing these days. Yes, the San Francisco 49ers were a juggernaut in 2012 and 13, but the Rams and Arizona Cardinals were awful. In 2014, the 49ers collapsed. Arizona was using backup quarterbacks most of the season, and the Rams were still mediocre. The Cardinals won the division in 2015, but the 49ers and Rams were awful. 2016, an easy division for Seattle. All three divisional opponents posted losing records, so we can only imagine how much tougher life would be if they had the Packers, Cowboys, Giants, or Panthers in their division. Number 3. Toronto Raptors Let's make this clear. It's awesome how the NBA is relevant again in Canada, thanks to the Raptors who have won the last three Atlantic Division titles. But come on, playing the Philadelphia 76ers gives you an easy few wins every year. They started rising when the Boston Celtics lost Paul Pierce and started rebuilding. The Brooklyn Nets are usually all hype, no action, and the New York Knicks are not the playoff contenders they once were. Good for the Raptors, but it's not like they have to deal with Cleveland, Miami, or Atlanta. Number 2. Houston Texans the Texans aren't even great, but it's tough to ignore winning seasons in five of their last six years, including winning the AFC South in 2015 and 16. But the Indianapolis Colts went 8-8 in both those seasons. The Tennessee Titans were just 3-13 in 2015, but they did go 9-7 in 2016. The Jacksonville Jaguars went 5-11 in 2015 and 3-13 in 2016. Talk about an easy division. Houston, you don't have a problem. And number one, any LeBron James team. 
As great as LeBron James is, how come Kobe Bryant didn't go six straight years of reaching the NBA Finals? Michael Jordan didn't do it either. Neither did the San Antonio Spurs under Greg Popovich. LeBron's had it easy in the East since he joined the Miami Heat in 2010. No other team in the conference has come close to knocking them off. When he was in Miami, the Orlando Magic lacked magic. The Charlotte Bobcats were awful and the Washington Wizards were not from Hogwarts. Now in Cleveland, LeBron's Cavs face a rebuilding Detroit Pistons team, a one-man Indiana Pacers squad with Paul George, the declining Chicago Bulls, and the rebuilding Milwaukee Bucks. We would love to see LeBron in the West, period. What other teams are great because of a weak division? Join us in the comments below. If you liked this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps us out a ton and we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to Total Pro Sports though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.